Hey guys, it's uh, me, The Flipped, with my very first review on the Pharaoh's Quest set, Flying Mummy Attack, set number 7307, and 125 pieces. And I got this set for about $20 at Toys R Us. But I want to start with the statistics, kind of. Um, it If you guys haven't realized this already, Toys R Us raises Lego's prices, like... When Lego comes out with this, I'm guessing it'll be around $15, 10 to $15, most likely 15 But Toys R Us decided to raise it since they just do that with all their stuff, Lego stuff as I know. But I did get this at um, my Toys R Us, well the Toys R Us close to me, um, Black Friday, which was yesterday. And this won't be uploaded, this won't be uploaded, um... Today, it'll be uploaded in probably like a week or so, because there's something wrong with the computer I use. So, But I'll start with the minifigures. The first one is, I believe his name is Jake Reens or something. I'm not sure. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. I don't know if it's Jake Reins or Jake Reens. Yeah, I don't know. But he um, has a new torso just for this set. It's kind. It's like um uh either a bikers or like flying jacket, and it's really nice. I like this torso a lot. It's got like um, it's unzipped a little bit right there, and then if you can't really see it, but there's an S. That little red where my red dot is. There's an S, and then under that, there's like an eagle thing. And then, um, over here, there's, like, two more symbols. It's really hard to see, though, with my camera. It doesn't focus. Sorry about that. But then there's zipper, and then two pockets. And then on the back, I think it's pretty cool, because it's, like, the airborne symbol. And, um, it's, a uh, eagle. And then it says SMH. I'm not sure what that means, but it says SMH. And he does not come with the regular hair he has. He comes with only a helmet. And you do get extra goggles from the, for the helmet, but I'm using those somewhere else. And uh, his face, I re it's really nice. He's got like a scar right there, sideburns, goatee, and then just your regular smirk. Yeah. And um, that's it for Jake Reens, whatever his name is. And now I will show you some, I think, one of the second best mummies in the series. Because I think the, um, like, dog-headed guys, I like those a lot. But, um, for the mummies, they're identical, even the faces, because you can turn the faces around. They have the same torso, they have the same legs, same spear, same headdress, same wings. Yeah, so I'm just going to review one of them. The spear is a gunmetalish gunmetalish color. Um like if you have the kingdom's catapult, it's that the same color of like the axe there. But then um this is a really nice figure. But because like all the stuff it has and I'll show you this headdress the headdress is unique to this guy because it doesn't have that tail thing on the back so it can fit on with the wings and then there's like a little eagle face pretty really nice it like goes out like that and then that's where headdress is on and then this is the one side of the face with only one eye showing and then the other side two eyes and a mouth showing then the torso is um back and front it's same basically the same and then the legs are really nice they're like pants and then he has semi torso printing which is that line right between there and it's like golden and blue dots and I will show you the back of the torso here's the back of the torso yeah and the wings, the wings are really nice. Lego did a really good job on these. They have really good features, like the blue wings are overlapping 
the tannish wings and then that red gold thing is overlapping the blue wings it's really nice and then they go on the figure with one of these you can just look it on right there and there you go yeah so same thing you get two of those and that's really nice and so on to the set itself this set i think i really like this set um it's the first rarest quest that i have though so i can't say it's the best yet but I hopefully will getting, be getting Golden Staff Guardian soon. And I really like that set because I think you get a good deal out of it. But this set comes with a kind of World 1 era plane. And then I would call this a tower because it can be an obelisk. But obelisks, if it was to be like more real, the point at the top would be pointing up like a triangle, like a pyramid. But they have like this thing here, so I'm just gonna call it a tower. But um, the body is an obelisk, like this part. But I'll start out with the tower. Um, tower, you get like a plate for it, and this is like the place where the play feature in the set is made, and I'll show you that later. But grass, grass, and there's some sloping pieces, circular. And then you get hieroglyphic stickers on this side. Only on one side though. It's really nice. They made it like look scratched up and stuff. And then there's like some design. And then up here is the crystal that the plane it's supposed to capture. And I'll give you kind of a little preview of that. Right here, this is the play feature. And then it just lifts that up. So I will show you that later. But that's it for the tower for now. And then the plane. The plane, I think they did a really cool job on it too. The only thing that I think is kind of bad is that I know this is how a lot of planes were back then, but you can't really see. It's not, <laughs> it's hard to see kind of. But the plane for the underside has the two wheels or taking off and landing like that and then the back wing has the eagle sign again both sides and then the sides right here says spirit of lewis no it's it's spirit of something it's like an l and i and s it's lou yeah lewis l-u-i-s and the cockpit there's a little controller right there and then the little glass to see out of and then the spirit of Lewis is the same thing on this side and the wings the top wings are bigger than the bottom wings and then there's like some engine right there I guess and you have a turret up here pretty nice turret and then the propeller spins the only problem with this is that it's right in front of the turret so you spin it the turret could take it to pieces maybe and there's the propeller thing. And you have these two target symbols on the top. And yeah, that's it for the plane. It's pretty small though, but I'll show you what it looks like with Jake Green's in it. It, it has really good playability, I think. Personally, I think it has pretty good playability. I mean, really good, actually. Because, like, you can just have it flying around. And if you ever wanted to do like a mock or something, World War One mock or something, this would be really good for it. If you just change it up a little bit. So then, that's Jake Rain flying it. And then here's the play feature. At the bottom of the plane, there's some clamp thing that you just move out like that. So it's like this. And then this is supposed to catch that crystal, and I'll show you how. You just fly along, and then it hooks up to the crystal like that. And then you just lift it up. Oops. Just lift it up. It works pretty well, but I don't really see it happening. But it is a Lego set. So, pretty cool f play feature. I like it. And then the clamp can go on either side. It can go to the right side or the left side. And I'm sorry I don't have my tripod with me. I'm not at my regular um, place where I make videos. I'm somewhere else, but yeah. 
So this has been a review on Flying Mummy Attacks. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I highly recommend the set if you're planning on getting any set soon or Ferris Quest sets so far. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, and bye.